All right, we'll salute in. Derek's just gonna give me an angle one attack. I just bring it up here, right? I just happen to be stick on stick here and hand on here. I can decide where I wanna pass. If I pass the stick over here, it's nice to kind of block that off the hand, and then it allows this one to be open for a strike or over here where I slide it up. If I come on the do the same strike exactly, the summit came up, but now, last time my right hand was the block, I was like this, now I just happen to be here. Doesn't matter, it doesn't change anything. I can pass the hand over, there's the strike there, the poke, another slam to the hand, or I can pass the stick and there's a strike there. So the nice part about it, it really doesn't matter if I can come up and go here, hopefully I've captured it, or he comes up again, same angle, I might capture it right here, right? Both sticks cross over, so that blocks him from pulling it right or left a little bit, deflects it, pass it here, there's a strike, pass it here, there's a strike. He strikes again. I may have both on the hands, no problem. Pass it here, there's a strike. Pass it here, there's a strike. He does it to me, so you're gonna X, do both sticks on my stick. Pass it to one side, strike. Do the same exact block and pass it to the other side. Good, now both sticks on just my hand. Pass it to one side, again, and pass it to the other side. Now I'll go one on the stick, one on the hand. Pass it to one side. Go do the same exact format, but pass it to the other side. So sometimes you're passing the stick, sometimes you're passing the hand. And you can mix that up for all of the angles. So again, the drill is just, if your hands are here, maybe I didn't expect that I see somebody aggressively pull their hands back to the strike position, I'm like, whoa, I'm here. And wherever it blocks, if it happens to be a stick or a stick in the hand or both to the wrist, no problem. The next move would be pass and strike or pass and strike. Practice that.